Uh, Mohit, but if I can just, you know, go back to the debt equity mix that we were talking about. Yes, there cannot be a one size fits all approach, but overall, if you can, uh, you know, just help our viewers understand A, for someone who's looking at, say, a high risk kind of profile, second, if for someone who's looking at a more of a moderate kind of portfolio, and third, for a low risk, if you could just sort of break up what the equity and debt mix could look like in these three different scenarios. Uh, sure, I'll I'll give it a shot, Pavitra. But again, with a disclaimer that it is not uh, 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 one should not just blindly adopt it. Yeah. One should go and tweak it according to the personal situations and circumstances. But let's say for a high risk portfolio, currently the allocation could be twenty debt and eighty equity. Uh, and for a moderate risk portfolio, the allocation could currently be uh, sixty uh, in equity and forty in debt, basically. And for a a low risk portfolio, the allocation could be the reverse of high risk, which is 80 in debt and uh, or 80 to 60 in debt and 40 to 20 in equity. Now, again, that last one, which is low risk, will depend as to how safely do you want to keep your capital and how much do you want to preserve it. If you're on the lowest spectrum, which is the most conservative, then go for 20 equity. But if you're fairly okay, then go for 40 equity. So, so that's that'll be my recommendation. Okay.